Hello. This is my third attempt at this video, I think. Um, third time lucky, I hope. I'm doing a review of my Giulio Classico fountain pen in matte black with shiny parts. I think that's the name of it. Um, it's not a very big pen. Um, it looks massive on this. <laughs> I'm filming this on my iPod because my iPad because my um, camera is just not being nice. But it has uh, the word Julio embossed just there, as you can see on the um, clasp. It's got a nice clasp. It's yeah, it's a very tight clasp. I haven't tried clipping it into anything just yet, but obviously it works. It's, it's very tight. Um, it holds standard cartridges like this rather than um, Lamy cartridges which are a different shape. Um, it doesn't fit a Lamy converter but it does fit a Pelican converter which I've ordered and waiting for it to arrive. Um, the nib is silver with gold um gold tip <laughs> I suppose I'm trying to let's try and get a bit closer so you can see yeah let's get that it writes um well I'll do a comparison in a minute I've got at the minute diamine turquoise in which is the sample one of the samples I've got today so It writes, <laughs> um, I just, I love this pen, it flows so nice, I'm like barely touching the paper and it just, just writes so nicely, um, barely even touching the paper and it just flows so nicely. Um, I did have a couple of problems with it earlier but that was it. It just it went a bit dry because obviously I hadn't used it overnight. It just went a bit dry. A little bit of scuffing on paper and it fixed it. Um, Don't really know what else to say. I love this pen so much. I think if you write it slightly on the side, which it does do, the lines are slightly thick, thinner. If you write proper on the base, the lines are thicker. Um, in comparison to a Lamy, this is a Lamy medium nib that I have, which always takes forever to get going. Let me try another one real quick. Okay, this one's a Lamy Extra Fine. This is the problem with Lamy's, I find they take forever to get going. Can see the ink coming in. There we go. There we go. It still takes forever. Okay, hoping that will work. This would happen, wouldn't it? I can't do an example because it won't start. Come on, pen. 
There we go. Okay, we, and it's very dry. You can see the lines, kind of patchy. And I'm applying the same amount of, pre as pr of pressure as the Chilio one. So this is the uh, extra fine nib on the side. It must be it does work better on the side, and then flat. So they're very similar in weight. I'd say the um, Gilio is probably uh, maybe a fine size in Lamy for anyone who needs a comparison. Yeah. So I I love my Gilio pen. It's just. It's nice to hold, see no problems starting at all, it just goes straight away. Um, it just goes, it just it does, so yeah. I think if you're, hes if you're hesitating because you're not sure if you'll like it or not, or you're not sure if that kind of fountain pen is for you, you should definitely just go for it. It's, it is a lot of money to spend on a pen but it's worth it. It's definitely a good good pen. Um, and I tried out the rollables as well. The rollables were great. I think if if I was very lucky Tom would send me all of the pens to draw pictures with and review but I don't think I'm that lucky. Um, I did post that I was taking, if anyone wanted to ask anything, and I've got an answer, so I'm just seeing all of the things. <laughs> um, I don't know what else there is to say. Um, I will do uh, another video when my converter comes to see how the converter works with it, because I've never tried a standard size converter before, only the Lamy one. But like I did in my last video, it's fairly easy to just fill them up. I wore gloves today and got in less of a mess. See, my fingers aren't that covered, I think. Yeah. Um, I will show you what I drew with it. This is done with a Lamy pen. Well, not Lamy pen. This is done with the Gilio pen completely and then it's done with these two pens this whole drawing I just changed the ink in the Julio in between so you can vary your lines quite easily it's very nice to work with I think if you're like I said if you're not sure you should go for it because it's definitely worth it. It's a fabulous pen. And I really, really like it. So, I hope that's a good enough review. I'm going to go and eat some ice cream now. And do some more drawings. Which I will post a picture of in the Julio group. So you can see how my new inks look. <laughs> with my new pen. Okay. I hope everyone's having a good day. Bye.